waters. CMDF, Combined Miniature Defense Force. Project Fantastic Voyage. Process Miniaturization. Authority, top secret, highest clearance. Team, Jonathan Kidd, Commander. Guru, Master of Mysterious Powers. Erica Lane, Doctor, Biologist. Busby Birdwell, Scientist, Inventor, Builder of the Voyager. Mission, in their miniaturized form, to combat the unseen, unsuspected enemies of freedom. Time limit, 12 hours. of that. It's a butterfly, sir, but I don't see what it has to do with the accident. It is not a butterfly. I suppose it's a tuna fish with wings? I mean, it is not a normal butterfly, and that explosion was no accident. It was caused by those renegade butterflies, and it'll happen again unless we do something. Gentlemen, this is Herman Brownmeadow. Herman is a butterfly collector. Sounds like he's got a few bats, too. I do not. You'll see. Emergency! Emergency! Go on. The atomic reactor in Blue Mountain, it's just blown up! Was anything unusual observed? Nothing, sir, except for a swarm of butterflies that flew over the grounds just before the explosion. Three days ago, Herman accidentally discovered a swarm of these same butterflies in a remote field in northern Vermont. What's so unusual about that? It's very unusual. First, butterflies never travel in swarms. Second, this type of butterfly is never found in Vermont. And third... The butterflies were radioactive, and so is the whole field. What's it mean, sir? It means that the clue to these disasters may be in that meadow. You've got to find it, fast, or every nuclear site in the country may become an atomic bomb. Are you ready, Mr. Kidd? Ready, Professor. Do we have to take him along? Yes. He'll act as your guide. Prepare for miniaturization. Set at 1-200. complete. Stop process. The time is 9.0. Prepare for beam. Say, can we slow down? <laughs> we haven't even started moving yet. That's enough fooling around, Busby. Straighten it up. We're almost there. We should be over it now. That's a lot of ground. All right, we're too, Herman. Search me. Well, where did you see the swarm? I can't remember. <laughs> Some guide you turned out to be. Hey, look back! The butterflies. Follow them, Busby. What do you mean? They're following us. Take us out, Busby! I'm 
trying to... Oh, no! There's one chance. Herman, is this formaldehyde? Yes, but I need it for my specimen. If this doesn't work, we'll be the specimens. Prepare to clear the exhaust. I feel like a flying street cleaner. They're heading down. Stay with them, Busby. Yes, sir. What is that thing? That's an old abandoned anthill. Or at least it was. I'm going in there. Get me a parachute. We're going to. It's too risky. You land and wait till I radio you. What? Mr. Kidd is right. Do not argue. He made it. His dangers have only begun, Miss Lane. Looks like something ahead. There's another opening. What was that? Catch me. Look! A bear! That was some fall. Lucky this ground is crumbling. Now I'd better find out where those butterflies are going. They're going in there. Something here, all right, but what is it? I can get up there. It looks like some kind of control center. Rockets! They must be the leaders. But why are they here? I'm worried. We should have heard from Jonathan by now. I know. Maybe we better... Come in, Voyager. Come in. Wait. Do not answer. I sense others listening. Listening? How? By radar? Precisely. Well, I'll be. That's radar, all right. Let me see. If we use the radio, the transmission of our voices will give away our position. Give away their position. What's the matter with you people? Professor Carter, don't you know your radio's on? Herman, you've turned the set on. I knew we shouldn't have taken him. Hurry, we must leave immediately. Right. It is no use. This material is not grass. They're like rubber. The Voyager. They've trapped her. Maybe if I can destroy that machine, they can get free. Look, something's happened to them. Busby, try it again. It. Yes, but at Mr. Kidd's expense, I fear. We've got to go back. Right. Only this time, tell that idiot to keep his broomstick locked up. Yeah. 
Something tells me I'd better get moving. This is worse than a maze. Let's see where this one leads. Uh-oh, wrong door. Your reports they're going into the hill after kids, sir. Very well, but they'd better hurry up. Who are you? Commander Jonathan Kidd, CMDF serial number one. And just who are you? We are from planet so far away, your astronomers have not even discovered it yet. Ah, uh, why talk with him? We are wasting time. Remove him. Is he the commander here? I am the commander. What are you doing here? Many years ago, a solar explosion left our planet radioactive. Now, to remain alive, we require more atomic power. And so, we must collect atomic energy from other planets, including this one. We use butterflies to collect the radioactive particles. No one would ever suspect such harmless creatures. Until he came along, he must be destroyed immediately. Hold it. What if we agree to supply you with the atomic power you need? Why? So you won't blow up half the country, that's why. It is a trick. Let me contact my government. I'm sure they'll agree. Destroy him. I will consider the offer. Take the passage to the left. Are you sure? Ants always build their nests in counterclockwise circles. Which way now? to the right. And we should be right in the center. Slowly now, Busby. A dead end! Counterclockwise circles, huh? Maybe it was mud wasps. Oh. Turn it around, Busby. What's that? Uh-oh. It, and I have decided to trust you. <laughs> you see, it was a trick. He was stalling until his friends came. Get him! <laughs> this should block them. <laughs> What's that? I'd better run for it. Thank goodness this floor is crumbling. Is everyone all right? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. You would be. Come on, let's get out of here. Boy, how are we ever going to get it out? Beats me. Silence. Something is coming. I don't hear you. Quiet. Look up there. The butterflies. Get under cover. Quick. What are they?
they doing? They are lost. The cave-in has confused them. Great! That's all we need. Perhaps it is what we need. Give me a rope. Is that the Indian rope trick? That did it! Let's get going! I just hope we can find him in time. Boy, there must be a hundred miles of tunnels inside here. We've looked everywhere. There's one place we haven't looked. Where? Wherever Mr. Kid is. Give me strength. What was that? Look! It's the rockets! They must be taking Jonathan away with them. Oh, here goes another one. Get us out, quickly! I am sorry, Mr. Kid. I would like to trust you, but I cannot. We are leaving this site now to go to another many miles away. You mean you're going to blow up some other unsuspecting place? Unfortunately, that is correct. And we must also destroy this hill. So there will be no evidence of our presence. In 10 minutes, a charge will be driven into the atomic pile, blowing up this hill and everything in it. Again, I am sorry. Goodbye. Hey, what's that ahead? That's it! Come on! It's sealing off! Well, here's where I try out my new improvement. Almost time. Where is it? Oh no. It's too late. We're goners. What are you? Darn it. That was my best net. Don't worry, Herman. I'll personally knit you another one. And I shall make it unbreakable. We're not out yet. Come on. We've got to save them. We'll never get those rocks off. Perhaps I can, my friend. Hey, how did that happen? Hurry. This place won't last long. Earthmen can be trusted, Mr. Kidd, for both our sakes. So am I. My government says it'll gladly give you whatever atomic power you need. You'll be on your way back in no time. Good. And 
If there is anything my people can do for Earth, we will always be ready. Well, I can't think of anything right now. I can. Have you got any butterflies up there? Oh, Herman. <laughs> <laughs>